My name is Nick Shirley and today we are at Brigham Young University and we are doing a deep dive into the soaking scene and what does it mean to actually soak. For some reason, my For You page has been full of soaking TikToks. Apparently it's something these kids go down and do at this college called BYU. So I headed down to BYU to see what soaking is really about. And I don't think soaking is a real thing. I need someone to tell me. Don't worry, Greeny Bean 420. I'm going to solve this question for you. What can you tell us about soaking? Uh... I have never participated, but uh, what is soaking? Soaking is the phenomenon of uh, inserting the into the and not moving. I don't believe that it's a real thing. Never heard of anyone actually doing it. It is a phenomenon around here, but uh, I don't think it's real. I think it's a conspiracy. I don't think it's real. I think it's a conspiracy. I think it's a conspiracy. You've never heard of anybody soaking out here? Personally, no. But do you believe the rumors to be somewhat true? I'm sure all rumors start with a grain of truth. I'm sure all rumors start with a grain of truth. Do you know anybody who does soak? Um, not that I'm willing to say. So you do know people who do soak? Maybe. Have you like pushed the bed up, like kicked the bed for him? I haven't, I haven't been involved. My hands are but clean. But you, you have heard of people soaking, right? I have. I don't think it's real. I think it's a conspiracy. And we're just finding people that we think are most likely to soak here on campus. To what? Soak. I never even heard of that. You never heard of soaking? No. I might have, but it might not be what you're talking about. What do you think I'm talking about? I don't know. What is it? Like marinating the hot dog a little bit? Oh, yeah. It's disgusting. Do you soak? No. Have you heard of people that do soak? <laughs> I guess. Are you like for soaking here I at BYU? I think if you're a BYU student then it would be against the code to believe in that. Are you two dating? No. Like, have you guys derfed yet? Can you leave? Leave? Yes, leave. I'm just asking some questions for The Rock. No, yeah, leave. we don't want to talk. Go away. We're just interviewing people who are most likely to soak. What does that mean? Don't act like you don't know what soaking is. I do not. Why are you smiling like that? Because this is kind of scary. How desperate are you? Not desperate anymore. Uh, I guess desperate enough to kiss a girl. Did you get a kiss? Dude, five on the lips. Really? Yeah. Have you ever thought about soaking here at BYU? No. No? no. Would you ever soak? Probably not. I don't know. I mean, I might. I just haven't thought about it yet. I mean, today was my first kiss ever. So it's like, give us some time. Give us some you? time. I'm almost 20. What would it take for you to soak? Uh, I don't know. A couple months. Soaking for you is not like a thing that you're like worried about. It's just more like you want to wait to build confidence. Uh, I think it's more like right, wait for the right person kind of a thing. Before no. you soak her? Yeah. Before you soak her and marinate the dog? Yeah, sure. You'd be down to soak if a girl was like, come over, Netflix and soak? Um, I, I don't watch a ton of Netflix. Maybe if she was like, let's Hulu and soak, you'd be down? Yeah, I guess it was like Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and soak. I'd be down. You gotta, you gotta have class, man. You'd be down <laughs> if your girl was like, come over, we'll Star Wars and soak. Sure. We're just interviewing girls at BYU who are most likely to be known for soaking. That is me. <laughs> so what does it mean to soak? Uh, vote out. <laughs> what? <laughs> we just insert and leave it. Are you a big soaker? I don't think it's real. I think it's a conspiracy. Are you a big soaker? <laughs> are you married? Did you and your wife ever go through this soaking phase? No, no. Did you ever hear about people that did soak? Yes. Does soaking go against BYU's honor code? I'd believe so, yeah. Are you a soaker? No. Have you ever helped somebody soak? No. What does it mean to soak? Not something I'm comfortable saying in front of the lady. Is this your girlfriend? Uh, maybe one day, if I get lucky enough. Would you ever soak with him? I am no. No? no? Okay. We should not. What say. soaking is? No, we definitely shouldn't. When you We're just... Fine. Come on, no PDA here. What are some ways like you showed your wife love before marriage? Well, we definitely kissed and held hands. So, <laughs> there you go. so there you go. Did anything? Did he ever get anything more besides like kiss and hold hands? What are you trying to imply, man? Like, <laughs> you never soaked. I I gotta get to class, man. I got insight of. A lecture going on. There's like 200 people in there, and we are gonna go ask them about soaking. Any 
you rearrange this so that it's one over lambda is equal to whatever. Hey, um, I know this might be a little off topic, but I figured it is chemistry, so I might as well ask. I'm going down to Yellowstone this weekend um, with my girlfriend. Um, we've kind of just been like kicking off a little bit, like derfing and that sort of stuff, but she kind of wanted to try soaking this week. Um, I just want to know if that's against honor code or anything like that. Are you on crack? I'm not sure how to answer that one. Would that be something I need to hit up with my counselor about? Uh, talk to me afterwards. All right, sounds good. Okay, back to this. We're furthering our investigation. Uh, we found two people that got kicked out of BYU for soaking. Now they're currently at Utah State, right here. They're in their room right now. We're gonna go get a deep dive interview with them about their experience soaking and what happened to them um, at BYU. Um, we're just gonna go talk to them. Their name is Brittle and Bush. We don't really want to disclose too much information about them. Obviously, it's a, kind of a sore subject. Their faces will be blurred. Coming in, uh, here's the apartment. I think they should be right in this room over here. Hey, is Brittle and uh, Bush in here? Or where, do you know where Brittle and Bush are at? They're in there. Okay, perfect, thanks. All right, we're here. Um, is this Bush? Yes. Nice to meet you, Bush. Brittle, this is yeah. Brittle. Nice to meet you, Brittle. And we're just gonna talk to them about their experiences about soaking and what happened to them at BYU. Ultimately, what brought you guys up to Utah State? So we got kicked out of BYU because we just weren't really big fans of the honor code, so that's why we're here. Cool. What was your guys' experiences like at BYU? Oh, it was great. What was the honor code like following the honor code at BYU? Is that one of the reasons why you guys ended up coming up to Utah State is to get away from the honor code? So honestly, it probably wasn't the ideal honor code, honestly. Like, me and Bush just started dating for a couple months, and we were just derfing here and there, which was fantastic. I loved it. But clearly, in like the heat of the moment, you don't know what's going through your mind, and we didn't know our limits exactly. Perfect. For everybody watching, what is derfing? Honestly, one of the greatest things on planet Earth. But Did you guys find derfing just totally normal? Was it what everyone was doing on campus? Yeah, it's most people's Saturday nights. It's also called Super Sparking, you know, Levi Lovin'. It's just the normal activity for BYU students. It was awesome, honestly. Like, after a while, after derfing, you guys together for a couple months, correct? Yeah, so... Yeah. You obviously, after a couple months, after enough derfing, yeah. you probably want to experience other things, right? Yeah, so it was the night of April 27th. My roommate actually just left, so it was just me and Bush. I was like, Bush, like, what are you thinking right now? And we didn't say much. We were watching Peanut Butter Falcon, actually, and we were derfing. And honestly, heat of the moment, we started soaking. For you just to do the Provo push, was that pretty exhilarating for you? Um, honestly, it was one of the best feelings of my life. Would you say you have an addiction to soaking? Yeah, I am addicted to dipping the bean. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. Um, we're going to go on with the investigation. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank, thank you. you. I appreciate it. What would you, if Sergey was soaked. making out, then yes. If it isn't making out, then no. 